I had a supervisor tell me one time, I don't know who lied to you, but you will never be a good supervisor. I don't know why people told you you were a leader because you're not. She proceeded to tell me, I don't know what you were thinking, thinking that you could lead a team of people, thinking that you could ever be an effective supervisor because you're not. And man, I'll tell you, that pissed me off. And it drove me for a long time to really try to prove her wrong. And everything I did was about trying to prove to her that I was a good supervisor. Here's the funny thing, though. She had all the power over my mentality and all the power over what my drive and my passion and my motivation was. And I gave it to her. I let her have the power over me. We have to know that our get that has to be stronger than our get back. Let me say that again. Our get that has to be stronger than our get back. Get back is only temporary. And once you get back, what do you got? You were only driven by getting back at someone or something for a certain reason. But then you look forward and you ain't got nowhere to go. But when you get that, you go after it with everything you got. When you get that, you know that it's yours for the taking. And it's only until you accomplish that and even then some that you were motivated for the right reasons. So no matter what, make sure your get that is stronger than your get back.